you speak has something to do with the way you think and vice versa. That there is a uh, determining influence, a shaping influence on our speech that comes from our thought and our thoughts are also subtly shaped by the forms of language which we're going to speak them in. I think that's where all of this starts at the very earliest when when a child is on our knee and a ball's bouncing across it in front of us and we would say in English, look, a ball, more likely than not. Whereas my feeling is that what would come out of an Indian's mouth is more like, look, bouncing. The problem, the problem as we try to express uh, today is the science thinking is very much based on math and the reasoning process okay I know the scientists will will uh, deny this but being observers on the outside I can see what's going on the scientific the the mathematical logic is very similar to the English logic. In English, it's polarizations like good and bad, saint, sinner, day, night, black, white. See. To, to hear uh, Leon speak about uh, the Yenapiho way of language, what, how the symbols of of la and in ka and be and all these different sounds, what, how the one and the two and the three and the four, how they all form from the sacred language of the of the Navajo people that was very that opened up my eyes to uh, this must have been the way tribal peoples all over the universe began to first speak is in the sacred language form and how uh, the English language and the languages which have been developed in our in the culture of, of so-called science which is primarily development from the uh, the, the Western projective language structure, not the sacred language structure, but the language structure in which I don't care what the sound is, I say that sound stands for that, and that's what it is. So if I say cat, it's cat. If I say cha in French, it's still cat. Okay? If I say katza of Deutsch, it's still cat. It doesn't matter what it is, what the sound is, whatever it is, it denotes cat. There's no such thing in sacred language systems. Sacred sounds have meanings themselves. What we have to offer uh, from uh, those of us who are concerned to offer this in this context is also very important. There is a reason that we have learned this, what we have learned in the West and taken a different approach. And I believe that when those two things come together, that we will transcend, they will come together because we are going to make a move into uh, the next stage of human evolution. And that we better do it soon because if we don't do it soon and do something about our situation, we are going to go extinct. But I can only expect, despite the brutality and destruction of what's happening in the world, that there is a purpose to, to finding out this different way of doing things.